Hi team, I hope you're all well. Uh, today I am going to do a book haul video. In fact, it's going to be a book haul and a DVD haul video. I haven't bought many DVDs recently and my obsession before books was DVDs. I have like an entire bookcase filled with DVDs. So, um, I have recorded this once already, but um i was hold, gonna hold myself accountable with it and not buy any books and then i lied to myself and i've just bought a load of books today and this week off amazon so now i really need to hold myself accountable because it's my birthday next month as well as christmas and i'm fully aware that my family and friends are buying me books that i've asked for but also books that i'm not necessarily asked for so i need to make sure that i don't buy anything that they're gonna buy so i am going to do this video today and upload it this afternoon and stop buying books until after christmas so let's see how that goes but i have a lot to get through because i have two um two what have i got two of oh no two charity shop buys I have uh, borrowed, well, books that I've stolen off my dad, books that I've bought off eBay, books that I've bought off Amazon, a book that I've been gifted, and then I've got books from the library, and then I've got DVDs as well, also from the charity shop. So, we're going to get into it because it's going to take me forever, otherwise I'm literally, like, surrounded by books and DVDs, and Pooh Bear and Eeyore, who are from my sister-in-law, she came around with them the other day, they're adorable. Um, so I don't think I'm going to like go into the books too much. If I've read them, I'll let you know uh, what I thought. But I don't really know. I'm one of those people that just picks books up because I like the cover or I like the sound of the, the book or I've seen it on booktube or whatever. I am one of those people. So a lot of these I don't know what they're about. So let's just get into it, shall we? Um, let's go with what I've stolen off my dad first. So the first book I've stolen off my dad is Schindler's List by Thomas Kennelly. I haven't read this, however, I've been to Krakow twice, I have been to Auschwitz, I have been to Schindler's Factory. Um I read what did I read? The Tattooist of, Tattooist of Auschwitz even. Um I'll leave a link below to my blog post where i do a review on that book um i absolutely loved it just if you can't be bothered reading that review but it'd be nice if you could um it goes more into what it's about so i really really want to read this this is like quite high on my tbr along with the boy in the striped pajamas the book thief and sarah's key i believe they're all brilliant as well so yeah i really want to read this did not know my dad had it and oh dear random piece of paper i don't know who that is uh it, maybe that's where someone's been when they've stopped reading it probably my dad or my mum either way um yeah i'm excited to give this a read and see what it's about i love the film i watched it it was a really long time ago now and i should probably watch it again but i think what i'll do is read the book first and then watch the film again um just so that sometimes i am that person that has only got into reading a lot more recently when i was a not too young too much younger but when i was like maybe 16 17 i got into reading quite a lot when uh, the twilight like into the twilight saga that's what got me into reading a lot uh, up until that point i hadn't read harry potter or anything i'd only read what we'd been forced to read in school which was of mice and men and i didn't read much but i did like to collect books even though i didn't read them so um, I'm quite behind on reading, but I have watched the majority of films. I'm a huge film buff. I watch films more than I do reading, although more recently probably I read more than I do watch films. But so a lot of these book adaptations into movies, I have seen the movie for. And sometimes it irritates me because the the movie is has gone off on a tangent from the book. So I'm reading the book, but I've got the image of the movie in my head and it's just not right. Um, so obviously books are usually more uh better than the films which is usually the case although recently this week i have come across one where i preferred the films over the book but it happens on occasion i suppose so yes schindler's list is the first one off my dad 
and then I got the Subtle Knife and the Amber Spyglass both by Philip Pullman. I have read this month uh, Northern Lights, I absolutely loved it. Um, again I've seen the film The Golden Compass which I watched before I read the Northern Lights. That is one where the book, uh, the film actually does kind of follow the book quite well so um, yeah I really liked that. So yeah I borrowed these, I've not stolen them off my dad, he's not reading them. I do actually don't know, he might have read them because the spines are gone on these. So. Um, yes, excited to get to these. Uh, you'll see a bit more of Philip Pullman later in the video as well. Um, and then off eBay, I got um, Dark Matter, which has been by Blake Crouch, which has been in my basket for a while now. And I just kept avoiding buying it, but it got the price went down on it, and now I'm excited, so I bought it. Um, I prefer this cover to the other cover. Uh, I have no idea what it's about, but I'm excited because I've seen it a lot around booktube, so which is the main reason that I bought it, but it sounds all right. Yeah, I'm excited for that. And then I also bought my own copy of The Martian. I originally borrowed this from the library. Um, then I listened to it on Audible. Absolutely loved listening to it. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was I just... I was in another world when I was listening to this book. I absolutely loved it. Again, I'll leave a link below. I have done a book review of this on my blog, but I wanted my own copy because I do want to read it as well and see if it comes across as well as it does in the audiobook. I do this quite a lot where I'll listen to an audiobook and I'm like, I wonder if I'd have enjoyed that as much reading the actual book than I did listening to it. So I tend to then buy the book. If I really want to find out and I really enjoyed it, I tend to buy the book and see how it portrays, see if it's better or not. So yes, I got that. And then, okay, so I was gifted this book by a friend, Davy, in the States, who got two copies of this book and she asked our book club group if um, anyone wanted it. So she sent it over to me with a couple of gifts. One of them was a notebook and there was also a uh, bookmark, a magnetic one and some like gift uh, not gift cards like um i don't know like greeting cards a little bit but they don't say anything on them they've just got a pattern they're really really cute anyway a pack of them so the book that she sent over was the clock maker's daughter by kate morton i don't know anything about this book but it's absolutely beautiful on the back i am assuming this is kate she's gorgeous um so yes it's apparently um book of the month's chosen book there is also a thing in there that goes on about book of the month. Um, yeah, it sounds sounds really good. I, I, other than the synopsis, I know nothing about it. I have never heard of it before, but I just thought, you know what, let's get it because it's really pretty and I'm always down for a hardback book. So I'm excited to give that a read at some point. It should be good. Um, then Amazon buys... So these are brand new books that I bought off Amazon. I obviously got The Crimes of Grindelwald by J.K. Rowling. I have been to see this this month and I loved it. Uh, but I didn't want to read this first because obviously with them being screenplays, I think they spoil the film. So I think it's better to watch the film than read the screenplay, personally. Um, I just finished Fantastic Beasts screenplay and I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give this a read now that I've seen the film. I did enjoy the film. A um, couple of twists. If you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. If you haven't, go watch it. But yeah, I didn't know. I don't know if this is common knowledge, but I sort of bit, obviously I've already mentioned this, but I'm kind of like behind in the book universe. Um, I did not know there was going to be another one. And if you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. Uh, if you haven't, I apologise. That may be a spoiler if you didn't know that, if it's not common knowledge. But, yeah, I'm su it surprised me, but I'm excited. I am enjoying this series a lot. I sort of um, pitched it to my dad. He saw the trailer and he's like, bloody hell, that looks really good. I was like, well, you've got to watch the first one, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And he did struggle with it. And I have to be honest, it took me three times to watch it. I did struggle with it, but now that I've seen it, I do love it. And now that I've read the screenplay, I do love it. I think it's brilliant. So... Anyway, he watched it, he struggled with it, he didn't know whether or not he was going to like it. He saw the trailer again for this and he was like, right, okay, let's go and watch it. It looks really good. There's like an all-star cast, Jude Laws in it, Johnny Depp. There's like loads of famous people in it. And he enjoyed it. He did enjoy it. He said he struggled a little bit in the beginning, but he enjoyed it. And I sort of 
he's not into Harry Potter at all. And I just sort of said to him, it's kind of like, it's like pre Harry Potter. Um, but it, I, I've sort of sold it as like Harry Potter for adults. Although that's ridiculous because in a way, because Harry Potter, despite the fact that I think originally it was done as child, like children's books and children's films, it is also for adults. Like I have loved Harry Potter so much more as an adult than I ever did as a child. So I don't know. It's kind of like the wizarding world for adults a little bit, maybe. Maybe I've got that wrong. Let me know what you think about that actually in the comments below, um, because I'm interested to think to see how other people sort of portray this part of the like wizarding world. If that makes sense. Um, next book I got off Amazon is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. Haven't I don't know anything about this. I've literally bought it because I've seen it on a couple of uh, booktubers vlogs that i watch does that make sense um and i quite the cover's just so pretty look at it really nice yeah i'm just excited to read it the chapters look reasonably short as well i always love books with short chapters it makes me feel like i'm getting so much further than i actually am um next from amazon is released by patrick ness again don't know anything about this i have seen loads of people going on about patrick ness and these two, the reason why I've picked them up is they've been on a reasonable deal in the Black Friday sale. So um, I've got them literally this week in the Black Friday sale on Amazon. So that's why I've picked them up more than any. Well, they're a good deal and I've seen them all over Booktube. They sound really good. So that's why I picked them up. Um, and then my final books off Amazon are a set of three. The author, Josie Jaffrey, sent me the first book of this uh quadrilogy would you call it that this series um for an honest review a couple of months ago and i completely fell in love with the book completely fell in love with this world uh the series and i have made it my mission to make sure that i read them all anyway i didn't buy all the books at the time because uh they were like 9.99 each and at the time, I just wasn't willing to sort of spend the money. So I got them all on Kindle. They were all out on, on Kindle Unlimited. I did start reading the second one, but um, I just sort of got distracted by my noobs and some other stuff going on. And then, as it turns out, um, Josie's had some new covers done on these books and they're absolutely beautiful. So I went straight ahead and bought them all, despite the fact they're still 9 9 each. <laughs> Um, and it would appear I may be one of the first people ever to get these. I bought them before Josie even had a copy herself. Um, she messaged me to let me know that. So I'm really excited to introduce you books two, three and four of the Solus Invicti series. Let me see if I can... Oh dear, I didn't think this through there. Book two, three and four. Look at the covers. They're so pretty. So this is book two, which is The Price of Silver. Book one is A Bargain of Silver. Again, I'll leave a link below for my review of the book. You should read these books. If you want, my, the way I sort of came to um, a conclusion on these books was they're like a cross between... I don't like to compare books with other books unless they really, really like that book, which this isn't really, really like any book. They are literally a standalone book but the similar to uh a twi the similar to like the twilight series crossed with 50 shades of gray um if they had a baby and it became an adult very very quickly that's what these would be does that make sense <laughs> they're like an adult version of twilight but with a bit of 50 shades of gray in there as well um there is vampires there is um i've forgotten what the other people are that are in there what are they called so the vampires are called silvers i'm not sure why they just call them silvers in this series and then there's another group of people that are like diseased or something that the vampires are trying to the silver are trying to protect the humans from and um it is a story following a girl called emmy who is kind of she's just sort of been taken in the silver can sort of you know how like a vampire in twilight can imprint on a person the silver can do a similar thing in this so 
I'm doing making a shit job of explaining this. If you want to know more, read the review below in my blog post. The I'll leave the link below, in other words. So that's the second book. The third book is Bound in Silver, which is the blue book. So pretty. Um, and then the third, the fourth book is The Silver Bullet, which is the green book. And I'm just living for these covers. So originally the covers were all red, all of them. The same cover, but just red. Um, and now I'm loving these will the first book I don't have it because I've lent it to my mum um, is red so these will all look so beautiful on my shelf next to each other so I just had to buy them I couldn't cope with them only being on kindle anymore so I bought them all so uh, Josie thanks for introducing me to this world she also has some other books um, called The Gilded King and there is a second one now is it called The Gilded Queen I'm not sure something about the queen anyway um, I do have those on my Kindle also, but I'm refusing to read them until I finish this series because there is a crossover with some characters from the series in The Gilded King. So I just want to make sure that I'm fully up to date with these lot, which I am, I don't know if you can see, but I am part way through, I can't even see it. I am part way through this. That's how far through I am at the moment. So I'm going to carry this on and hopefully maybe finish it this weekend. Oh, well hopefully this week is part of my notes so that I can move on to these as well which is good because if you can see this book is a lot bigger than these two so it won't take me as long to get through these last two but yes that I went on about that series way longer than I thought so oh my god this video is so long already and I've still got so much to do okay uh library books let's try and make this a bit quicker I won't go on about them anymore library books I've got I Am Legend by Richard Matheson Math Matheson um, I loved this film however I have just started it while I've been at Costa having some dinner I am 17 pages in I'm up to chapter three and it's already so different to the film this is one of those that's just completely and utterly different to the film but either way I'm enjoying it hoping to do this for my newts as well so I've got until Friday to finish these books or like any that I've mentioned that are in my notes got till Friday and then I got by Mallory Blackman Noughts and Crosses from the library as well it's a pretty big book but I've seen this again all over booktube the chapters are reasonably small um I quite fancy the sound of this also the synopsis sounds pretty good um and then I got this book's looking a bit better but I found all of these in the children's section of the library they put all the young adult stuff in the children's section of the library so I'm always in the children's section of the library but I got a Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, another Patrick Ness book. Um, there is a cover on this, obviously, because kids are, re like, ruthless. Um, there's some illustrations in here, which I did not know about. Um, oh, so nice. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to give that a read. It sounds pretty good. By the sounds of things, it was an original idea by Siobhan Dowd. Um, but it sounds like she passed away. She didn't get a chance to um publish this so patrick ness has done it for her so yeah excited to give that a read okay first library haul now these first two books are on my 30 for 30 um what are they on a 30 for 30 tbr for next year well starting in december uh, if you don't know anything about that, I'll leave the link below for my vlog explaining that. But the first one is The Giver. I got this from the charity shop. These are all charity shop books. So I got this for a pound from the charity shop. I prefer... It's on my Kindle. I've already got it for free on my Kindle. But I prefer this cover to the Kindle cover that I've got with the guy's face on it. I don't know. I just prefer to have it the actual book. So yes, I have The Giver. I have Dan Brown, The Da Vinci Code. I don't have Angels and Demons yet. I am hoping to have all of these books in paper format um, because it would just be nice to have all 30 of them to be able to take pictures or whatever and just to have them really. There is no way I am going to actually read this book. Not a chance. I kind of wish there was a bigger version of it though. It is a small, you know, like the smaller. I don't like these size books. Anyway, um, it's brand new though, nobody's read it before, it's come from the charity shop. So Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code, I'm actually going to listen to this on Audible, uh, along with Angels and Demons, I've already made that decision. Uh, I also got Darren Shan, Cirque du Freak, I don't know anything about this, uh, but it was in the charity shop, it's only small. We'll see how that goes, I've heard little things about it. And then I got The Light Between Oceans by 
M. L. Stedman. I know nothing about this. I think I've seen this along BookTube though, or it's been turned into a movie. Not sure. Can't remember. It sounds really good though. Looking forward to it. And then I've got these three, which are all Sherlock Holmes books. I got The Hound of the Baskervilles, um, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, and Studying Scarlet, all by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And they're just really pretty. They look really nice on the shelf next to each other. Um, and they've all got uh, Martin Freeman and um, Benedict Cumberbatch on the cover, each one of them, who obviously played the latest Sherlock Holmes and his pal, whose name I can't remember the name of. Does it tell me or not? Dr. Watson. Sherlock and Dr. Watson. Apologies. My mind went blank then. So then today's book haul, um, following on from the Sherlock, I found this today in the same, same charity shop I found those three the other week. So this is the sign of four. Again, a similar cover. So I have another one. I might as well start collecting these seeing as I have four of them. So they'll look nice on the shelf. I got All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Again, another book that I've seen on booktube I've seen it's one of the like I don't know I've seen it up for some awards and stuff on Amazon things like that and then I can see you can see the pile getting bigger um let me see if I can make another pile because I'm just gonna get overloaded otherwise um The Girl of Ink and Stars by Kieran Millwood Hargrave I don't know anything about this but I'm currently reading The Girl of Paper and Fire and I was like oh look at that it sounds similar it sounds all right, you know, and I've oh, just noticed as well, the, in, the pages inside are beautiful. Um, I just really liked the cover. I think it's super pretty. It doesn't look like a really long book. So, yeah, I'm excited to read that. Um, this is not my usual type of read. But recently, I have been listening to this podcast recommended by a friend of mine called Case Files. And it basically, there's a hundred episodes on there at the moment, but every week they add a new episode. And basically they go through um, case files of uh, either cold cases or cases that have been solved. Um, the cold cases sometimes come back with more information as well. I haven't actually got to one yet where later on um, you notice that there's like another 20 minute or 30 minute episode that goes back to the case. I'm assuming they either get new evidence or it gets solved after these people have done this case. So. Uh, it's really good there are um all kinds of cases murder cases um there are a few like uh child cases so they do give trigger warnings if there is like a child involved in one of these cases they will let you know beforehand so if it's not the sort of thing that you can listen to you can turn off or go to a next one they'll always give tr trigger warnings um, so yeah and because of that I ended up picking this book up today it's not usually something I would read it's something my mum would normally read but um, it I, I hate to say it sounds good it sounds interesting it's a true story and it's called Mummy Make It Stop by Louise Fox um, and it says the heartbreaking true story of a little girl betrayed and I just thought I'd pick it up and try it and see if it's something I can read because I am listening to these cold case files. One of them did upset me the other day to tears and I messaged my friend and I was like, I cannot believe that case because he's listened to most of them. I was like, I cannot believe that case. I'm crying my eyes out. I'm on my way home from work and he was, I was on my way home from work and he was like, yeah, it's a really sad one that like this was one of the children ones. So I don't know. I might be able to get through it. I might not. But if I can't, I'd give it to my mum. It's the sort of book she... I hate to say enjoys reading but she does enjoy them she she finds them very interesting so i got that one there were quite a few actually in the charity shop i've never noticed them before but there were a lot today so i'm assuming somebody's got rid of like a bulk of them and they've just put them all on the shelf um but that's the only one i really i didn't want to pick up loads of them i then got stephen king end of watch um all of these books are either a pound or 150 by the way um the charity shop ones so uh yeah it sounds quite good actually this one i am starting a small collection well i'm, I'm now got a small collection of stephen king books so far i am trying to find one that i'm like oh my god stephen king is amazing i am fully aware that stephen king is amazing and the stuff he comes out with isn't like 
crazy and certain, like as in good. But I haven't found a book yet where I've gone, that's now become one of my top 10 books or something. I haven't found one yet. I've read The Dark Tower, didn't enjoy that at all. I think I struggled with the language barrier thing. I've read, oh, I've really enjoyed Elevation, actually, his latest book. I've read The Cycle of the Werewolf. It was all right. Not fantastic. I read Pet Cemetery. It was okay. I think I gave it maybe three or four stars. I can't remember. But I am, I have got a few. I think I might enjoy Min Misery because I really enjoyed the film for that. Um, and I've heard that Thinner's quite good as well. But we'll see. I'll just keep reading them until I find one. Um, and then I got a couple of Andy McNabb books. I got The New Enemy and I also got Silent Weapon. These both sound really, really good. Both hardbacks and they were both 150 each. I love charity shops. Um, I it does This does annoy me though. Don't put stickers on there that will not come off. It's irritating. I don't know what either of these books look like underneath them. They're probably, yeah, they're just kind of plain. Um, so yes, love a good, playing again, love a good uh, Andy McNabb book. I do have a reasonable Andy McNabb collection going on now as well. I do keep meaning to get to uh, Bravo Zero. Oh, every time I forget. Bravo Two Zero. Every time I forget that. I do keep meaning to get to that though. And then finally from the charity shop, I got Philip Pullman, The Book of Dust. Told you he'd be coming back again. Um, volume One so uh yeah this is sort of 22 years after the publication of the groundbreaking his dark material which is the um northern light series um philip pullman returns this epic parallel world in a masterful new novel but it sounds like this crosses over a lot with that world because um it mentions that someone's linked to lyra who is the little girl, well, the young girl from Northern Lights. So I don't know how this will cross over. It's a bloody monstrous book, but I am excited about reading it. Does it say how many pages? 546 pages. It's a monster. What is that? Um. So yeah, excited to read it. And I thought, you know what, 150. I thought I'm going to pick this up. I've seen it quite a bit recently. So why the hell not? And then finally it films because this has become an extremely long vlog and I apologise, I just got distracted. So in my films, I got in one charity shop, I got two films, the rest are from a different charity shop that I didn't pick any books up from today. So the books that I picked up today are from the charity shop that I've got these two films from. So I picked up uh, Brokeback Mountain, never seen it, really want to watch it. And it was only, well, actually I thought it was 99p and it wasn't. I also got The Arrival, which was supposed to be £2. The two of them I got for one fifty. They've got a deal at the moment, two films for one fifty. So um, I haven't seen this yet, which is amazing for me to pick up two films I haven't seen yet because you're about to find out that I've seen all of the following films. So I got Shaun of the Dead. Absolutely love this film. Needed a copy because I just sometimes want to watch Shaun of the Dead. I got The Golden Compass. Philip Pullman is everywhere today. Um, I haven't seen this since the first time I ever watched it and now I've read the book I think I should go back and watch it again I think it would be good I got The Full Monty which is legendary film I watched this when I was younger it's one of my mum's absolute favourites they've got it on video but now I have it on DVD also the wrapper's on it's never even been opened brilliant I got Daybreakers I'm pretty certain I might already have this you know but I haven't seen it for ages. I haven't watched it. So in that case, I may not have it. Because every now and then I'll just be like, oh, I haven't seen that for a while. Let's watch it. So I'm going to have a butcher's on my shelf. If I have, I'll just take it back to the charity shop. But then finally, I got the Lord of the Rings trilogy for 2 99 There was a sticker on this that said 32 99 from Morrison's. I was like, oh my goodness. So yeah, 2 99 from the charity shop. All three books. My dad's already got this, but I wanted my own version. Because if you didn't know, I don't live with my parents anymore. So yes, Lord of the Rings, the trilogy. Um, yeah, that's everything. One day, one day, I will not have a book haul video. That'd be really boring, that though, wouldn't it? I don't know how many books I've bought this month. One, two, three, four, five. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, no 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Is that including? Oh yeah, there's 30 books there, including three from the from the library. Shit. I've got to stop buying books. So yes that is november's book haul i'm going to upload this now despite the fact that there is still six days of the month left because i will not be buying anything else she says um if i do i will let you know at some point in one of my other videos um i hope you enjoyed this i know there was a bit of a twist in there with the dvds but i just wanted to show you what else i've got as well um I actually thought it would bulk the, the, the vlog out like that clearly I clearly didn't need that so um yeah I hope you enjoyed if you've read any of the books you've got any opinions on any of the books you think I should sort of make some of these books a priority please let me know in the comments below I'm always interested in knowing what people thought of some of the books I pick up so considering nine times out of ten I know nothing and I picked it up because of the cover or because the synopsis sounds pretty good so yes if you see any of the books on here that i have mentioned that i do know something about and you think something else would be of interest to me because of that book also please let me know i will leave all of the links below that i have mentioned in here if i can remember all of them and i shall see you again for another vlog soon uh, if you enjoyed this please subscribe below please like it um if you didn't enjoy it please let me know. Just don't be nasty about it. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.